We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Michael Wilson, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver. He just had a huge breakout game versus the Niners, and after going back watching all his film throughout this season, he's been one of my favorite rookies to watch. I liked him coming out of Stanford. His dynamic route running ability just really stands out. Nothing too like nothing too big weaknesses wise. Like he makes catches at the catch points, good adjustments, just a quality all around receiver. Really liked his tape, beating good corners, change of direction ability, the ability to decelerate, then accelerate. You can see it on this rep right here at the top of the screen. He runs a lot of his routes at like 100%. He wastes no time, so he makes a lot of them look the same. Takes a lot of outside releases, will break to the inside. But here, just working that like speed release to the outside, wants to get up on this DB, make him panic, and then hitting that double move. He does a really good job of sinking his hips and changing directions to get back to the either running like dig routes or curls hitches things like that and this db he gets him to bite by hitting this double move peeking back to the inside with his head the subtle little things like he plays like a veteran out there and then after this deceleration to then instantly accelerate out of it to create that separation by freezing the db and winning with athleticism it's just a combination of traits that michael wilson is showing that i think he has the real ability to be special and i think the cardinals got an absolute steal with this one i love seeing reps Cover one, man-to-man, -man, look at the receiver and what they do in those situations. That's how you can really tell how they're looking. You know, when they come open and have a touchdown versus zone, those things are good to see too. But I really want to see them beat press man-to-man. -man. And look how he sells this route hard to the outside. Basically what he was doing on that, that first play that I showed deep down. And this play came before, you know, help selling the slant to the outside. He gives a little split release off the line here. And with that split release, usually it's a two-way go. So you're using that split to either go inside or outside. And he really sells this to the outside. That's why he creates so much separation. He doesn't get the target. They go somewhere else with the ball. But then look at him to like give a slight little hesitation here. And then after the hesitation, you accelerate out, right? And then it looks like you're going to run that vertical. So he's selling vertical the whole way. And at this point, it's like vertical. And he's able to sink, give a little two-foot chop, and change directions like this so efficiently and create all this separation. If Dobbs was looking to this side of the field and this was his like first read, he had time to get him the ball here. And Wilson, even though he gives a lot of time to do this, like he gives a few different moves, he still does it very fast because he's so explosive and sudden. It's a very, very impressive skill set that Michael Wilson possesses. Here's Wilson's first touchdown versus the Niners down in the red zone. Dobbs just reading this corner, and once he sees him bite on, you know, that out route right there, they're basically running like a palms coverage down in the red zone. Niners guys, you know, playing quarters but he can break down on the number two to the outside so he reads that so Dobbs just reading this corner Wilson does a good job with his angles here taking a inside stem to freeze this safety and then getting back to the outside and Dobbs makes a very good throw like to see that with that inside stem right here it's very smart of him because if he just runs straight up the field vertically this guy's going to widen and have a much better chance of making the play I believe that's Ufunga but then give him enough just natural separations created because of the initial angle he took and then he makes a nice catch near the sideline, gets a slide going, shows good field and situational awareness to keep stay in bounds here, and some ball skills to finish. All things that you like to see out of the rookie. Here's Wilson's second touchdown, getting him aligned in the slot. He can play the slot, he can play the outside. Basically, he gets matched up on a linebacker. They're running like some bracketed coverages, uh, match stuff going down in the red zone. And once he's able to cross the face of this linebacker, nice to see him get his head around and doesn't want to go like he starts to slow it down enough when he feels this right here to then, you know, get in between both defenders, secure the ball and then get upfield ready to take a hit, showing some toughness. Nothing too crazy, but like to see him becoming a red zone threat down in uh, down there to get these touchdowns because he's become very, very reliable for the Cardinals and I can't wait to see what his future holds. He can also vary his tempo off the line here in this bunch. You know, we've seen him go very quick, running very aggressive routes, but now you just want to wait, allow these receivers to clear some things out. So then you get this one-on-one -on -one with a DB and you have the natural leverage advantage. You just want to slow play it, give him a stab to the inside right here to freeze him just long enough, get to the outside, be a chain mover, catch the ball in stride. Um, slide, he likes to hit that slide for sure after the catch there. But just being like a reliable possession receiver like he has a little bit of a balance to him he can be a possession guy but i also think he can go downfield and be a big play player for them and even stretch the field vertically which we saw on that very first play that i showed wilson is kind of like a clear out guy here because brown is running like a over with wilson running a deep post and he throws the ball to to marquis brown hollywood brown but look how w quickly he wins on this he takes like he's playing a soft soft like press here 
and he gives one stab to the outside which gets the cb to open up like with how dynamic and sudden he is you see how he steps outside the frame he puts his whole body into it and then instantly gets back on that path where he wants to be get up vertically he accelerates he's got some good speed if this ball is weighted to be thrown i mean this safety is over the middle of the field but if this safety had broken on this earlier while before he had thrown the ball and then he gives like a stab to the outside he has that chance to take a deep shot to Michael Wilson, but I just like how quickly he's able to win off the ball versus press, soft press, you know, off, uh, whether it's zone, off ball type of things. He can attack coverages in so many different ways. Wilson is just so nuanced in his route stem. This corner's playing zone. He's just recognizing the coverage instantly and then goes into his plan of attack. Sees him show his back right here, you know, zone turning. Attack this kind of slowly, slow play it. Give a little stab there to the inside, but then work into the blind spot. You give that light, slight stab there to the inside foot, and then once you work into that blind spot, it's like, oh, he's probably going to work to the outside. He gave the one stab to the opposite direction, but no. Then he's able to break this off. There's a safety to the inside because, you know, they're in quarters to that side of the field, but for his one-on-one -on -one matchup, like, this is a good route, understanding to work blind spots, and then he's able to bend this off pretty horizontally. You don't want to, you know... You want to flatten your route here. You don't want to drift into these things because those are where things get intercepted. But just good understanding of what to do facing the different types of coverages. Here's Wilson running a crossers versus the Cowboys. They're in cover three. This guy's playing, trying to play one third and match, but it's a you know just a quick win for him. But what I really like about this play is this deep third safety who's playing middle of the field what he does to him he already knows he has this route one just based on the coverage here and he just has to get across the middle but look how he's able to adjust this this angle he attacks the safety completely gives this slight you know stem up the field gives that hard stab which gets the safety to open up his hips take him out of the play forces him to center field turn and now you just have an easy completion understanding you know you don't always just have to beat the corner that's lined up against you and matching you there's other guys over the field and just seeing the whole field for what it is and michael wilson is very very advanced love how michael wilson sells these on these releases giving him like the diamond release to the outside there, just getting these dbs to open up their hips he does a really job sliding giving that foot fire footwork and then now once he does all that little hesitation there he s accelerates vertically then hits that foot to open once this db opens up his hips he gets to the inside now he's not getting the targeted on this but and then he's flattening it out to get away from this. If the ball's thrown right at the route break, he's open, natural separation. These are the things that he's able to do on a consistent basis. Look at Wilson here. As the lead blocker on some like zone counter type of stuff, just going up through the hole, almost like, you know, a tight end that would lead through here on the motion, getting going. And he's just flying through this hole. It takes a good angle. Look how he adjusts it to get to the DB cut off that inside hip that's exact the exact angle you want to go to square him up and then he takes him on at the point of attack shows some play strength good technique seals him out for the hole for connor just definitely want to see that that's how you're going to get touches in the future last play that we're gonna break down there's honestly even more that you could show mike wilson's very very impressive this is actually his biggest play but not the most like impressive one that he has but it's still nice to see him just getting open pretty naturally it's just a blown coverage but then after the catch showing some yards after catch ability i wouldn't say that's like the biggest strength of his game like he's a better route runner and better at the catch point overall but we get, haven't got to see him have too many yak opportunities so just running through this getting trying to get rerouted avoiding that and then coming open wide open from the broken coverage and then giving the safety something on space attacking this trying to maximize your yardage quick footwork he's definitely got some there and he's got some play strength and balance to his game as well he's pretty tough um just like you know pretty normal like average size wide receiver not too big not too small so like his game all around the route running very very impressive loved what i saw from him just being a reliable player he can be a possession guy he can be a big time playmaker for this cardinals team and he's definitely one of the biggest bright spots i think that i've seen for this offense so far and uh excited to see what he brings to the future because i think he's can be really special so if you can just make sure not come and subscribe to the guys